How's it going guys? Famox here from Game On Your Face and today we're looking at the all-star himself, Hut Live, Danny Heatley. This video is brought to you by Hut Puck Traders for all your Hut Puck needs. The rules. You will play on a 99 chemistry line for 7 games and will not be assigned any boosts or captaincy cards. The overall grade will be based on 5 stats. Puck skills, skating, shooting, physical, and defensive. With his current average price at 20k, he's in the same price range as Phil Kessel and Corey Perry. Putt live, Danny Heatley was much faster than I expected. I would say he can wheel just as fast as Ryan Kessler. But the catch is that he can only sustain that speed for a few seconds. After that, he becomes very slow. The same goes for his shot. It's good when he's fresh on the ice, but once the fatigue starts to set in, it becomes useless. HL Heatley is also pretty strong in the puck. Obviously, he's not a tank, but I would actually compare him to Ryan Getzlaff. Unfortunately, Heatley's game is very one-dimensional, and his defensive play is almost non-existent. Puck skills. He gets a 6.5. Hut Live Heatley's puck skills are below average. His deking is slow, and he has poor puck control. He's also an extremely terrible passer. You'll find that his passes will either be just a little off or get intercepted. This leads to unsuccessful dekes and frequent turnovers. Skating. Heatley gets another 6.5. He was surprisingly fast. I know it was right off the first game that he could keep up with guys like Zetterberg and Hossa. However, as I said earlier, it only lasts for a few seconds. I'd say you could get one good rush with him, then he becomes quite sluggish. This is something that will affect the fatigue levels of the whole line. The same goes for his turning. It's sharp for the first few seconds. After that, it's like his blades become terribly dull. Shooting. 7. Healy's shot doesn't hold up to what it was in 2007, but it's not terrible. I find that his wrist shot was much more effective than his slap shot. He can pull it back and snipe it on the same level as a banner cane. But just like his skating, it only lasts for less than half a shift. Once that fatigue starts to kick in, his shot becomes more comparable to Jordan Tutu. Physical. He gets an 8. This is his best attribute. That's because it lasts through his fatigue state. So even when the line gets into the yellow, and maybe even the red, Heatley will be able to hang onto the puck and win battles in front of the net. Like I said at the beginning of the review, he's not as powerful as Jamie Benn, but very close to Ryan Getzlaff or Andre Kopitar. Defensive. He gets a 5. Heatley's defensive game is nowhere to be found. He has atrocious defensive awareness and discipline, which leads to many stray poke checks and frequent trips to the penalty box. Even though he has a decent shot, I wouldn't recommend playing on the point on the PP, because it will probably get you burned and end up with a puck at the back of your net. This brings his overall grade to 6.6 out of 10, or 66%. That's a C plus. Now I know I've said this already a few times in this review, but I really do believe that regular gold Ryan Getzlaff is a perfect offensive comparison to Hot Live Danny Heatley. They have the same shot and strength. However, Heatley's low endurance means that he can only be effective for short periods at a time. He's also a one-dimensional player, possesses zero defensive capabilities. That's why I think he's best suited for the fourth line. That way he can play short, protected minutes and prove to be an asset rather than a liability. So be sure to use him on quick shifts and avoid any special team minutes like the power play or penalty kill. Hopefully this review did its job and helped you with future hut purchases. And if it did, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button. Feel free to leave your request for my future reviews. But I'll see you in the next one where I review two of the greatest centermen in the game. Regular Sidney Crosby versus regular gold. Pavel Datsuk.